Hello everybody, TGL here, back with another Brawlhalla guide, and today we are going to be doing gauntlets. I got a couple requests to do gauntlets, they're a pretty popular weapon. I've been working on them for a little bit, just to try and get them as good as I can. Because I, I know, you guys, a lot of people struggle with gauntlets, I did for a while, and uh, I just thought I might share what I got. Uh, I'm not going to cover too many combos and strings and stuff like that, because there, there's already like 50 guides out there that cover strings and combos. And strings and combos are cool, and strings and combos are good to know, but you also need to know other things. Like, a combo isn't good if you don't know how to approach with gauntlets. A combo isn't good if you don't know how to, like, build upon it. It's... I'll try and cover that the best I can. Let's just get straight into it. Here we go. Starting off, we're going to go over kill combos. This is very important for gauntlets. Try and keep this in mind and try and use them as much as possible. Uh, first, we're going to do D-Light Recovery. Very simple, very reliable, very good combo. If you're not using D-Light Recovery, use D-Light Recovery. Uh, basically what you're going to want to do, you already cancel D-Light, Dodge Forward, Recovery. I messed that up, I don't know how I did that, but there you go. It's a true combo, it kills, it kills like basically all the time. It's your, probably your best kill option, I'm going to be honest. Next thing we got is Side Light, Side Light Recovery. You're gonna have to do a gravity cancel there. It's Sometimes it's hard to input, it shouldn't really be too hard. Uh, it's a string, it is not true at all. <laughs> don't ever, don't to put words in my mouth and say that it's, I said it was true. Not true at all, but if you're having trouble hitting D light for some reason, you can get a read off the side light for a kill. Uh, if you're having trouble with gravity canceling, what I would do is just spot dodge and then do a move and try that out. Because before I would try to input D light and the dodge at the exact same time and that was pretty hard for me but uh just do a dodge and then do a move and it still counts as a gravity cancel so try that out and just try to speed it up a little bit if you're having trouble i go over that tip in literally every single one of my guides because it's actually so helpful it really helped me when i was getting good at the game so here we go uh <laughs> but yeah for the d light recovery just remember uh d light dodge forward and then do a recovery pretty simple pretty basic very good combo, it'll, it'll kill basically all the time. Uh, and then side light, side light recovery. You're gonna need a spot dodge or a down dodge. Everything else doesn't really work, so keep that in mind. Right, next thing we're getting into is D light combos because these, these are pretty important. D light is probably one of your best moves on gauntlets, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. You should be using it all the time because it's amazing. D light side light, true combo for no reason. D light end light. True, but I messed it up. There we go. D light and light. True. D light down air. True, but I messed it up again because I suck at the video game. Let me. There we go. <laughs> D light down air. True. D light nair. True, but I suck still. <laughs> there we go. D light. D light nair. It's true. It's amazing. D light. You can use it for everything. D light is like the best move in the game for gauntlets because you can use it everywhere you can use it to kill you can use it to set up combos you can use it to extend combos you can use it for everything use it all the time like d, d light nair into a down air true combo then you can do some follow-ups and it's just pretty, pretty pretty crazy uh if you wanted to do the combo i just did you gotta do d light chase dodge straight and then do uh nair uh if i can if i just stop messing it up that'd be great and just <laughs> there we go and then just spin around and do a down air Pretty simple, it's basically like the D-Light Recovery, but you do Nair instead of Recovery. Not too bad. Next, we're going to go into Approach Options. These, this is this is pretty important. Basically, for any weapon, you're, you're gonna wanna be able to approach. Because if you can't approach, you can't do combos. If you don't, can't do combos, then you can't do damage. It's it's pretty it's pretty bad. But uh, the best approach options for Gauntlets are obviously Down Light, uh, Gravity Cancelled, or just Basic. Pretty good, pretty good. Side Light, also a good option. Pretty solid. Uh, you can get some decent strings out of it. Even if you can't get actual combos out of side light, it's still good just to get some easy chip damage. Uh, also, we got down air. If you do like a, I don't know, dash jump down air, pretty good, not gonna lie. Uh, you can set up into some things like a side light or something like that. <laughs> it's a little bit harder and not as, there we go. Uh, it's a little bit harder to approach with down air, but it's definitely possible. Uh, you can get some decent stuff out of it. Nothing true, really, but... You, you can get some decent strings out of it. Uh, it's If you're really getting like stuck just with the side lights and they're starting to counter you, maybe maybe mix it up a little, throw in a down air or two. Uh, usually you should be fine with D-Light though. D-Light, it just sets up into like everything you need. It's just pretty, it's pretty dang good. <laughs> so 
I'd say my personal favorite are the D-Light and then the side light. Uh, maybe throw in a couple end lights in there just to mix it up a little. Because if, if you do hit an end light, you can actually get some decent stuff out of it. You can go into straight into a side light, not too bad. Uh, you can try and hit it down air. I actually don't think that works at all. Uh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> but yeah, you can do end light, D light, uh, end light, side light, end light, all that good stuff. Uh, I, I wouldn't really recommend end light unless you're trying to do like a combo break just to get out of like a string or something. Uh, but to approach, definitely side light, definitely D light. Maybe down air if you're having trouble connecting with anything else. Just gauntlet honestly, gauntlets honestly has some pretty good approach options. So just mix it up a little. It's not too bad. Uh, you can even approach with like some weird things like nair. You can even approach with like side airs. If you're just getting camped out, you can just throw in a side air or two. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, gauntlets doesn't really struggle to get in. It's kind of one of the things it's really good at. So you shouldn't have too much trouble, but if you do, uh, if none of this is working for you, leave a comment. I'll try and help you with approaching. Since it's, it's, it is it's difficult sometimes, especially on certain weapons, but I think most of you should be fine with just gauntlet side light, gauntlet's D light. Couple, couple end lights, couple down airs, couple nairs, all that good stuff. Okay, here we go. Last segment of the video. We're going to be going over some side light strings because they're pretty important. Uh, very, very good for gauntlets. I'd try stuff like this. These are, that's one of my personal favorites. Side light, nair, into gravity cancel, d light, nair. You know uh, the combo I showed you earlier, gravity cancel, d light, nair. You can piece that together with some other stuff like this. You can get a nice little combo like that. You can follow up off stage however you really want. Uh, maybe like a down air, maybe a grab, ground pound. Maybe try and go for like, just, I don't know, just some crazy stuff like this. Or <laughs> I say that's crazy, but it's not really. Um, this one technically is better. Side light nair into cider if you're having trouble with the gravity cancel uh, or the gravity cancel D light into nair. You can throw that out. It has less dodge frames, but it also does less damage. So it's kind of a trade off right there because you can get this much damage and it, they have more chance of dodging out. Or you can get a little bit less damage and they have less chance of dodging out. And you can't really follow it up as well, but it has less dodge frames. So if you like this one more, just go for that one. Uh, that's pretty much all I have for the video though, just some basic little strings like that. Try throwing some stuff together. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll try my best to answer them. Uh, keep in mind this is a basic gauntlet guide for a reason because I'm not the best gauntlet player ever, but I thought I'd show what I know because obviously I had trouble with gauntlets when I was learning them. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know which weapon I should do, what weapon I should do next. Having trouble speaking today. Peace out.